Well, hello and welcome back to another Finnish Friday where every Friday I bring you a Finland themed video. I thought I would do something a little different and get outside today because the sun is shining and the temperature is just perfect. And also today I just wanted to make this quick video about how and why I moved to Finland and how you can move to Finland if you're someone who is interested in learning about that. I get this question a lot in the comments, so I thought I would make this quick video and share it with you guys. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple. I moved to Finland because I was married to a Finnish man at the time. We met in the States. He was here on a tourist visa. We were married sometime after that and I was, we were Christian. I was Christian at the time and we wanted to start a ministry. And also, I had always, always wanted to move out of the United States. I mean, can you blame me? Anyways, I've always wanted to live outside of the US and this was my perfect opportunity to escape <laughs> to a faraway land. And so we moved to Turku, Finland. I lived there between the years of 2011 and 2015 is when we moved back. So while there, I studied Finnish. Obviously, most of you have seen most of my other videos. Uh, I studied for a year and a half and I did not work while I was in Finland. Um, all I did was study the Finnish language and do ministry. That could be considered work, I guess. The first two years, my daughter went to an international school there in Turku, which is a really awesome experience for her. She got to meet people from all over the world and she made some really amazing lifelong friends there. Her last two years of high school, she was homeschooled. And um, when it came to her senior year, I wanted to make sure that she was really prepared to graduate. And there wasn't a lot of resources available in Finland at the time for homeschoolers. So we decided to move back to the United States so that she could graduate and finish her senior year here in America. And when I moved, I had every intention in the world to return back to Finland within two years before that my residence permit would need to be renewed. And I was going to go to the university there and study to get my bachelor's in health sciences. And I had already applied for the program and um, been invited to come. And so I was going to return back to go do that. Well, that never happened. <laughs> It's amazing how we can plan to do things in life, but like life just has a way of taking you sometimes on journeys you never could have expected. Uh, I ended up getting divorced from the Finnish man that I was married to and leaving the church or getting kicked out of the church. Uh, how should I say? Disassociating myself with that church and organization that I was a part of and which was all really honestly the best decision that I could have made. I'm in a very, very, very good place. I'm very grateful for my experiences that I had in Finland. It changed me so much for the better. I was able to take all of the hard and difficult things that um, were challenging in Finland and learn from them and just to help me gain like a broader perspective on life. So I'm very grateful for that time and I have no regrets. Wanted to add here, as you, most of you know, that I am married to my best friend and we definitely have a relationship that I never thought would be possible. And so you never know where life is gonna take you. So that was how I moved to Finland, was being married to a Finnish citizen. This is how you, you, if you're interested, this is how you can move to Finland. So if you wanna go and stay in Finland for longer than 90 days, then you're going to need a residence permit. If it's going to be under 90 days, then you can go on a visa. And all of this that I'm going to share applies to people that want to move into Finland from outside of the European Union. If you live in a European Union state, you don't have to get a residence permit, but you do have to um, register your right to be in Finland. I'm going to leave the link where I got all of this information right here. I'm only going to touch on this very basically. If you would like to go deeper and to learn more about ways to go there, I suggest going to the Migri Pistefi website and also checking out Luke Bland. He's a YouTuber. He did a video on it that just kind of touched on it. And then Alexi himself. He is another YouTuber, a Finnish YouTuber that shares with um, information to foreigners about Finland. And so he also did a more in-depth video about it and I will link both of those here. 
I like both of their channels. You should definitely go check them out. Okay, so number one, if you want to move to Finland, one way that you can is obviously like have family ties. You can marry a Finnish citizen or be a, a registered partner of a Finnish citizen or a cohabiting partner of a Finnish citizen. Um, or if you're a guardian of an underage child. So if you have an underage child, you're the guardian of them, your child can come. The second one would be you could get a work permit. So you could find a job in Finland. You would need to find a job in Finland first before you went over there or before you applied for the residence permit. And also if you're self-employed, I believe that you can go ahead and apply for a residence permit. The third one would be to study. You would, if you want to go study in Finland, if your studies are going to be more than 30 days, then you can apply for a residence permit to study in Finland. Um, but you would of course first need to get accepted into the Finnish school beforehand. And there are requirements for income. You have to prove your income that you can support yourself, you know, while you're studying or while you're living there. The fourth one would be like a re-immigration. You have Finnish roots or you have a very strong connection to Finland in some way. Um, you can re-immigrate there. That's a fourth one. And the fifth one would be if you're a victim of human trafficking and um, I think seeking asylum. So go ahead and check those out on the website if you would like more information or the videos that I shared with you. And so that was it. I hope you didn't mind that this was a really quick video today. I just wanted to share those things with you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already so that you can be notified when I upload a video and stay on track with these Finnish Friday videos. And I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world. If you have any questions for me or you would like me to do any specific videos or reaction videos, please leave those suggestions or questions in the comments. I love you all, I appreciate you all, and take care. Bye. Lumi lapio, moi moi. Hey, bye.